Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, have you ever watched someone just destroy their life, just blow it up with stupid choices? I mean, it's painful to see that. H have you tried to warn them and watch them just ignore your warning like, hey, I don't think that's a good choice. I think it's a bad decision. I wouldn't do that if I were you. It, it hurts because it's so unnecessary. Well, Proverbs 7 is a story of an idiot, okay? It's just the story of a guy who is young and stupid, and Solomon tells this story to his sons trying to warn them about being foolish. And the foolishness that he's talking about is getting involved with a married woman. It's committing adultery. Uh, and, and I want to pick up, just read a couple verses out of this chapter because it's an entire chapter long story that's worth the read. Uh, but in verse 21, it begins to say, with much seductive speech, she persuades him. With her smooth talk, she compels him. All at once, he follows her. Listen to this. As an ox goes to the slaughter, or as a stag is caught fast till an arrow pierces its liver, as a bird rushes into a snare, he does not know that it will cost him his life. He doesn't know it's going to cost him his life. Uh, see, here's the thing. If you follow God, it's going to equal life. But if you rebel against God, it's going to end up poorly. It's going to end in death and destruction. Uh, the Apostle Paul tells us that in Romans 8 when he says, For the mind that is set on the flesh is death, but the mind that is set on the spirit is life and peace. And we just we need to remember that every single day because we're vulnerable. Uh, and, and the other thing that this points out very clearly is you're not going to get away with it. Whatever it is, whatever foolishness that you're running into, you're not going to get away with it. You're going to reap what you sow. You're going to suffer the consequences of your choices. You might think you can get away with it, but you're not going to. Now. The other thing is, uh, I just want to encourage you as I read this, is protect your heart. It, every one of us is vulnerable. Every one of us can be tempted. Every one of us can stumble and fall. Uh, and, and so we always need to be protecting our heart. And, and that looks like this. It means that you need to, to watch what you're focusing on. Focus on the Word of God. Focus on worshiping God. Focus on your spiritual life that is bringing in the wisdom of God to you. Uh, you're the only one who can control that. So you've got to decide what are you putting into your brain? What are you putting into your heart? What is the focus of your life on? I hope it's Jesus. Uh, secondly, it means that you've got to watch your friends. Because your friends are going to influence your life. I've heard it said that if you show me your friends, I'll tell you where your future is. You see, Paul warns us about friends when he says, Don't be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. Uh, the writer of Proverbs, Solomon, says the one who walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Uh, so check out your friends. What direction are they headed? If they're not following Jesus, you may need to adjust your friend group. And then finally, you, you've got to have faith. If you're going to protect your heart, look, you've got to believe that God's word is true, that it is wisdom, and that you're going to take his wisdom and apply it to your life. I've had too many friends, known too many people that believed in Jesus but ignored his wisdom and their lives crashed and burned. Little did they know that their choices would lead them to death. Today, I pray that you will hear God's wisdom and you will follow Jesus wholeheartedly, that you and your friends together will encourage each other to be people of faith. God bless Calvary. Have a great day.